that's it's a bit of a pumpy pumpy into the value area high it's nice nice to see i mean i did say you know you reclaim the value area low it's bullish <laughs> what can i say it's it's just it is what it is you know you re you reclaim a value area low flip it into support price action becomes bullish again what i can see here is that the point of control was flipped into support too and i did say the point of control moved to the lows that was bullish so there's a lot of bullish uh things happening all of that is invalidated now at least for the time i'll keep it just for the sake of so we've come above the 382 perfect so you have a um you have a you have a real kind of sr flip going on here and you've gone straight into resistance you see that 236 resistance at 3.1 cents that's a big mover for kanks well done <laughs> um should have bought some <laughs> this is good so i had this channel and look we're just back above it that's what you want to see look it for a short period of time it was kind of resisting and then fell under and then it just came back above and that's uh that's kind of that's bullish when you reclaim these like higher time frame channels that's really nice to see that's what you want to see uh bullish price action so there's a lot of good things happening here you've cleared some daily levels with ease without any problems um you've gone through the golden that's the reverse you've gone for the reverse see that one it's fine all right let me just hide everything now what am i seeing let's have another look um let me just do a range pool now i'll just do it on the four hourly but from I'll ignore this um, this big candle here. All right, so we're into resistance. Just be aware of that. Value area has moved down slightly. Value area low has moved down slightly. The point of control is basically where it was at. Okay, get rid of that. Let's have a look at this fib uh, fib retracement. We're into fifty percent of this range. We're into the, there's a lot of, uh, just want to do something. Hold on. I just want to try something out. Um, this is going to be look weird, but I just want to try it out. I want to just cut this. I just want to see what this looks like here.
like that. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, that's basically what you're forming effectively, except that the price is elevated just simply because of this adjustment in price. But that's basically what you're forming is a continuation of, of this behavior, but it's just continuing. And effectively, you're in this kind of range. And you can do it this way or you can do it the other way. So the other way would be like this. Um, let me take this bar pattern to here. To go to go. No, it's not like that. That's weird. To go. That's better. To go. It looks better the other way, huh? Prefer it the other way. I'm just not doing that. That was good, huh? That was really good. All right, so we have a channel. <laughs> I've just created a channel out of nothing. Let's bring it up. Don't know. We're coming into the midpoint, according to this, that but what's interesting about this price action, you see, like just ignore that middle bit. Um this was the SFP of this low here, and that's a higher low. This is a higher low. So this is actually looking really bullish because you're kind of you're kind of forming. Uh, an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Potentially. And this top bar is the neckline. It's hard to see because we've got this uh, this price adjustment. But when I bring this price action down and just join it and just ignore ignore all of this trash, you're potentially forming some kind of inverse head and shoulder. It's hard to see, but it's there. And really, the, the test is going to be a break of that, that, of that high there. And you, you just kind of, you just, you now you're looking to just break and go up or, or, or break, consolidate to go up. That's kind of, that will be very, that this, this potentially could be the impulse right now. What we're about to experience now could be the impulse potentially, or, <laughs> it could just go back down <laughs> who knows <laughs> and this could just this whole pattern could just can it, we could just continue to range basically so there's two possibilities here a continuing of the range or or potentially a breakout a breakout will be easy to see because you're just basically flipping this this high into support somehow for a continuation and then it'll get quite pumpy you're into a little bit of volume up here <laughs> nah, not much there's not much volume there i can't see it i don't think that that price action will make much difference to to the, to the move if there's a, if there's going to be a move but i am i am seeing some kind of all of this is just a continuation of this just at a higher level so this is looking quite nice 
I think getting above this midpoint on this on this chart here, the lower one, it looks like we're potentially above it. There. When I clone those channels, it doesn't look like we're above it. But if I bring this lower to the all time high, not the all time high, this pivot high, that makes more sense there. From there to there. So there is a bit of a channel going on here. So let me just draw it correctly. Actually, I need it for reference. Hold on. Let me just do that and I'll just do it. Do it. Re redo this. This is kind of what I'm There you go. That looks good. Yeah. There's your channel. That looks all right. Got a bit of reaction there. Bit of reaction there. Midpoint. Easily a reaction there. This low was just like a meh, but then look. Back test there all the way up to there lost it but there was clear reactions here and then that was a clear reaction there this midpoint was a little bit meh but there was a little bit of reaction there there was a little bit of reaction this was a bit meh so we're back into the midpoint that's what i'm seeing right now and i've just literally just based that off uh combining combining this fractal here just joining it with this to see that there is a a continuous a continuation in the pattern which gives gave me the idea that we're probably there's probably a channel going on here um it would be good to flip that midpoint to support her for continuation and then obviously we want to break the top of this channel to go up yeah I think once you get into these higher parts, there isn't much volume. You should probably, it should probably expand quite well. Uh, it's been consolidating now in this range since May 22. So uh, I should pick some up. <laughs> I should buy some. <laughs> what the hell? Why, why, why have I been delaying? Uh, it's at two point eight cents, so it's it's only it's not it's not too crazy. I can buy I can pick it up at two point eight cents. I mean, I it's obviously more expensive than one point nine cents, but we have a, a like so. Just looking at the current price action, let me have a look at the daily time frame. So I think this pivot high should like I don't really want to see this to us lose this pivot high here. I think that should act as a support now so potentially if the price does go back down i want to see that to act as support that will give me confidence to buy there or i'll be looking to buy a reclaim of that channel slightly higher up i wouldn't just buy into resistance that doesn't make any sense of course if you're investing it doesn't matter you just just buy <laughs> just buy <laughs> bye 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 uh, but if you're trading which is what i do what i'm trying to do uh oh i mean i might hold a little bit who knows let's see where was the um volume levels 
Yeah, so we're into resistance right now. It'd be good if we can... Really what I want to see next is to flip that volume area, that value area high, and this midpoint, this mid-channel into support. I think that would be the neck for me that would be the, that would be a good entry like I, once when I once I see that this is support and it's starting to act as support then I'll be looking to buy otherwise I'll be looking to buy a little bit lower down and and just wait for the correction because I just because I want to make I want to get all these people who have bought this pump I want them to sell basically I want them to to sell I want to buy after these people who've taken their profit you don't want to buy before people take profit. You want to buy after people take profit. So if it goes up here and it consolidates, then you, these people here are taking profit and the price is still up above this uh, flip line. That would be a good place to buy. Or you want to just wait for them to take these people to take profit. And then if it comes and kind of forms support here, that would be a good place to buy more. So that's kind of what I'm thinking just looking at the price action uh but yeah this channel is quite nice so and this fractal kind of worked out well potentially we are making a higher time frame head and shoulders pattern potentially that'll be really nice because then you have a a good breakout and then you can just you can just basically it'll be easy to see how far it can expand because i'll just draw the the breakout to the neckline so let's just imagine it's still there from the breakout you could probably go up to there that will probably take us up to that uh top range there um yeah just the value area high of that mini range that would be a good that would be a good kind of target to take profit and uh, that will kind of will be the expansion of this head and shoulders inverse head and shoulders so from from the breakout that's about one one point eight x maybe a two x from the current price it's about four x right and obviously the other thing we want to see is we want to see this launch price flip into support that will also potentially coincide with the top of this channel as well so that'll be quite there's some good places to enter on this token once you see that levels have been flipped into support right so just bear in mind we're into resistance right now right uh, and i wouldn't mind a little bit of a back test of these previous levels before i buy more and that's kind of what you want you want to see higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows you don't just want to see the price go up in a straight line because then people will take profit and then it could look quite ugly so that's the kanks update i hope that helps i'll make a little video of that later <laughs>